Any further questions? My name is Naomi Colombo, coming from Lazio region. Just a jump for, for the future. According to you, there is any possibility that uh, Euro European Union try to start with participatory budget? Yes, you know, at least it's always the Commission who comes up with a proposal. And uh, so, of course, we have a lot of budget lines uh, where we could uh, support. Uh, one, of course, is uh, in the seventh framework program of research. Uh, so if it's a new area which we uh, should develop or where we have a chance to develop, uh, it would be good to see in which uh, area and which budget uh, it would uh, fit best. Uh, the second point is, of course, uh, the innovation uh, uh, and competitiveness uh, programs, the so-called SIP program, uh, where also uh, we have possibilities in the ICT area uh, to support programs. Uh, and uh, uh, a third area would be that uh, we make a preparatory action, uh, an initiative from the European Parliament, uh, to see uh, how the communication and the participation uh, could be improved. One last question from Michael Remmer. Thank you, Michael Remmer from the Council of Europe, normally in Strasbourg, today in Brussels. <laughs> Um, when we wonder about why people do not take up uh, the e-participation tools that are at their disposal, uh, often we hear that uh, people don't really trust that the information and data that they're sharing um, are not being used against them, if I may say so, in, in different contexts. You did mention that uh, it's very much on the agenda of the European Parliament to deal with the issues of trust, transparency, and privacy. And I think that uh, is, 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 would be very useful also in the context of the e-participation agenda. Could you just expand slightly on, on, on what is on the European Parliament's agenda in, uh, with regard to these issues? Yes, of course, we have uh, a, a serious debate now. Uh, and uh, as you know, we had uh, the 138 uh, paragraph in the telecom package uh, where the debate uh, was very much into the depths uh, when a government or a, a judge is able to put you off uh, the Internet and what should be the procedure uh, if harmful content uh, is, deli is delivered. And uh, we found now a solution that uh, uh, all over Europe there is a... a, a real clear process uh, what uh, uh, the authorities have to do uh, to cut somebody uh, off of uh, the internet. But uh, that's only a little part. I think uh, the real debate is, and I think that uh, was also one of uh, uh, the main inputs, uh, what, what can we do if you have placed something in the internet uh, and if you want to have it off the internet? Because uh, if somebody is telling something about you which is not true, uh, if there is a, 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 a lie on, on somebody, so what is the legal possibility uh, to get out uh, uh, things of the Internet uh, which are not in, in, uh, in the area of uh, uh, transparency and uh, public awareness? So uh, I think that's what uh, the debate in the next uh, time uh, will be, because if you know Facebook and all these new social uh, activities, uh, a lot of uh, people put everything uh, from their side in, pictures uh, which are taken uh, after midnight from somebody, and of course it uh, has a very negative impact uh, if you get uh, confronted with a wrong story. So uh, to see on the one hand where we need transparency, uh, so that everybody can see the trust in the system, in the software, in uh, whatever is necessary to deliver secure and uh, trust through the Internet. And on the other hand, uh, to protect the uh, privacy, uh, that will be, uh, I think, the main debate in the next months, uh, because we see that cybercrime, that a lot of activities are really uh, making a lot of, of problems. 
And uh, so the legal framework which uh, we have to do on the internet is not only a European issue, it's at least a global debate where we have to see uh, how we could uh, improve the legal framework. At this moment, I am glad to take the liberty to express my thanks to Dr. Rubik for his participation in our e-committee project in the web interviews. So really, he is not only speaking about e-participation, but I think he is doing it. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank, and thank, thank you. I think